Hello everyone, it's Eagle of Zeus here and I'm back with another video and in this video I wanted to do a review which I admit I'm not that good at reviews so this probably won't be very professional or anything but I just wanted to talk about this show that I just finished which is uh, Blood of Zeus which is a Netflix anime series. So I just finished season one today and I mainly just wanted to discuss my thoughts and opinions about it. So it's not really going to be like a professional review or like a, a critical review or anything. It's mainly just my opinions and my views about it and what I thought what I thought about it. And I'll try and keep this video short. So overall, I really loved it. And honestly, I'm usually pretty... I'm usually pretty critical about like shows and movies and books that are about Greek mythology and the Greek pantheon. I'm usually, my hair is getting on my nerves. Anyway, um, I really need a haircut. But anyway, so I'm usually really critical about like shows and books and stuff, basically like fictional series that are about the gods and Greek mythology. Um, but I really, really loved uh, Blood of Zeus. It was really good. Um, it wasn't based off of an actual myth. It, it seemed to draw inspiration from the myth of Heracles, but then later in the anime, it mentioned that Heracles is, actually exists in this universe that the anime takes place in so it kind of got me wondering like hmm so if Heracles exists in this universe I wonder what Heracles is like because the main character Heron who is the demigod of demigod son of Zeus he's the main character his story about his birth and everything is very similar to Heracles um Zeus took the form of a king and slept with his mother with Heron's mother and anyway she basically she bore two boys which was Heron and his brother and Heron was the son of Zeus and his brother was the son of the king and it's like that's a lot like the myth of of Heracles the only difference is <laughs> And the myth of Heracles, the king actually loved um, Heracles, but the king in, in the anime didn't love Heron. He wanted to kill him. So <laughs> that is one difference, but, you know, it's similar. It's similar to the myth of Heracles. So I was surprised when they mentioned Heracles in the anime, like, okay, so Heracles exists in this anime. So anyway, but overall, I really loved it. Um, like I said, it's not actually based on like a particular myth. It's just takes inspiration from many parts of Greek mythology. Um, there's these creatures in the anime that are known as demons. And there's also creatures known as giants, which I guess are supposed to be like the titans. I'm not sure, but I think... I think these creatures are just kind of made up for the anime. I mean, I've never heard of them. I mean, I think they're supposed to be like the Titans, but there's these other creatures that used to be human that are called demons, which are like... They become demons by eating the flesh of the giants, and they get turned into like these creatures, which the... One of the villains in the anime, his name is Seraph, Seraphim, I think. He is actually, well, well, this, this video is going to have spoilers anyway, but he's actually the brother of the main character, Heron. He was the son of the king, and Heron thought he was dead, but it turns out he's actually one of the villains, and he's a demon. He's like the leader of like the demons. I, like I said, I think these beings are just made up. I've never heard of them in the actual mythology, but they're pretty interesting. They're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it 
like I said, it's like its own thing, but it takes inspiration. It also, honestly, the ending reminded me of Disney's Hercules as well. Like with when the Titans go attack Olympus and it reminded me of that in a way. When when the giants attack Olympus in the anime, it reminded me of the ending of Disney's Hercules. And the main, well, the main uh, villain in this anime is actually Hera, which I guess is a bit different because typically the villain is always either Hades or Ares, but something happened at the end of the anime, the very last episode, which I'll get to. But I did think it was interesting they actually made Hera a villain. I mean, she's usually the villain type in stories anyway, because because of her role in mythology, she's usually portrayed as being jealous and like, you know, like uh, cruel and jealous and wrathful. Um, <laughs> but of course, we know the real Hera is not like that, but I'm talking about um, the Hera from like mythology. Um, but I did think it was at least something different. One thing I really didn't like, though, was the fact that they made her have crows for some reason. They made her, her animal be a crow. And, of course, in mythology and in Greek religion, um, Hera is not associated with crows. So I don't know why they made her, her animal be crows instead of, like, the peacock, which is her most notable sacred animal. I don't know why they gave her crows in this anime. And they also made her color purple instead of like green and blue. Like I mainly associate her with green and blue. I think she's also associated with gold and silver or some colors associated with her. But for some reason in this anime, the color they associated with her was purple and they gave her crows. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, but in the end, she does redeem herself. She turns good, which I was happy about. But <laughs> there was a part that really made me sad at the end because Zeus sacrifices himself. And so far, it seems like he's dead. I'm hoping he comes back somehow in season two. But it seems like he actually like sacrificed himself and died, which made me really upset because it always makes me upset when the gods die. But... It upsets me more when they actually get killed by someone, but Zeus sacrificing himself was really, like, it made me sad still, but it was better than, like, him getting killed by someone. Um, so yeah, that was really upsetting. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? But actually, I did want to mention that Zeus, I really love I really, really loved the way Zeus was portrayed in this anime because, you know, typically, like, a lot of people have negative feelings about Zeus, unfortunately, especially, like, in the Hellenic uh, polytheism pagan community. A lot of people still really don't like Zeus because of how he's portrayed in mythology. Um, but they really did Zeus justice in this anime. They really made him how he really is, like, kind, caring, um, just, lawful, I mean, he still, like, he still, like, has affairs with mortals, but he's, he's, like, he does feel bad about not being faithful to Hera, so... I just really like the way they portrayed Zeus in this anime, and I hope, I hope um, people start to like him more. And because of this anime, they don't hate on him like they usually do. Um, I hope this anime like opens their eyes about him, like his true nature, and maybe people change their mind about him and want to like actually get to know him. Um, so anyway. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was the very end, which this part actually made me laugh, but it kind of made me like roll my eyes a bit because at the end, Seraphim actually gets killed by Heron and he gets sent to the underworld. And throughout the anime, Seraphim was using a Bident 
And it turns out in the end that the Biden is actually Hades Biden. But it doesn't say how he got Hades Biden or why he's using Hades Biden. But it turned out it was his Biden. And Hades was taking him to Tartaros. But then Hades said that he can help him out and help him out of Tartaros. And all he has to do is kneel. And that part made me laugh because... <laughs> mainly because of Seraphim's reaction. He was like... You know, he like yelled like no or something. And the reason why that made me laugh is because earlier in the anime, that's exactly what Hera kept telling him was to kneel before her when she was trying to use him to, to help her kill Zeus and take over Olympus. So that part actually made me laugh because it seemed like Hades was just joking with them. But at the same time, I think he was serious. So it looks like Hades is actually going to be the villain for season two. Which kind of made me roll my eyes because that's so cliche and so overdone. And it's such a stereotype to make Hades, you know, some dark lord villain. I I'm sick of it. They do it all the time in everything. It's either Hades or Ares. They're always the villain. And even Ares was kind of a villain in the anime. He teamed up with Hera against Zeus and Olympus. It's like, why? Why do they always, like, they always make the same gods the villains? I don't know why, but I'm tired of it. So I'm hoping they're not going that route, but it looks like they are. But I don't know what's going to happen in season two. I don't know what's going to happen to Heron. If, I don't know if Zeus is coming back. I hope so. I hope they find some way to bring him back. I don't know, but I'm excited for season two. It is a really good show. I really do love it. Um, I recommend it if you're into... If you're a Hellenic polytheist or if you're just into Greek mythology, I really recommend it. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts about it. This video is getting long. So man, I, I really just wanted it to be like seven minutes long at the most, but I rambled too much. <laughs> so it turned out to be like 12 minutes, but I think I'm done now. That That's just my quick thoughts. Like I'm not going to go into a big like plot description about what happens in every episode or anything like that. I just want to get my thoughts about it. If you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't really have to go into detail about every part of it. But yeah, I, I really loved it. I really love Heron. He's a really cool hero. And I love the character designs for all of the, the gods and all the characters. And I love the, the animation style, the art style. It's really beautiful. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to season two. And... I guess that's about it, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.